In this problem, we're going to look at a long um, order of operations problem that we'll have to solve following the correct order of operations. Now, I'm going to write this order of operations down here to help us, um, just to remind ourselves of the order real quick. You start with parentheses. Now, what's important is there are different types of parentheses here. What you need to know is that you do the inside most parentheses first, then you move to the outside parentheses. And we'll look at that once we get started. After that, you'll solve the exponents. This problem doesn't have any exponents. You'll normally start seeing those in middle school. Um, after that, we do multiplication and division. Very important to know, you don't do multiplication first all the time. Multiplication and division happen at the same time, but always in order from left to right. So if you have a division problem on the left first, you're going to solve that before you solve the multiplication problem to the right. And the same thing is true for addition and subtraction. They happen at the same time, but from in order from left to right. So you may have a subtraction problem first on the left. Solve that before your addition problems. That's what we're going to follow here. I'm going to go ahead and erase this so I have space to solve this order of operations problem and just leave um, the PEMDAS over available to the left. So first thing we have is parentheses. And remember, we start with the innermost parentheses first. These are called braces, so or brackets, rather. We're going to start with the brackets. So in here, I see this is the, most, the innermost parentheses. I have 8 minus 3. That gives me 5. Now, I always like to write out the rest of the problem once I have solved, just to make sure I'm not forgetting anything else. So now we have the, um, it looks like we did the braces. We have the brackets left. So we have next 5 times 5 is the innermost parentheses. So now we have 2 plus 25 minus 12, all in the parentheses divided by 5. Next up we have, it looks like, let's see, we still have this whole thing in the parentheses, so we're going to go ahead and solve this out next. Now remember, it goes addition and subtraction in order from left to right. So first I'll do 2 plus 25 to get 27, and then I have to do 27 minus 12, which gives me a total of 15. So now I'm left with 4 plus 15 divided by 5. Remember, these all have to come down because we have not solved them yet. Let's see. We have an addition problem, 4 plus 15, and a division problem, 15 divided by 5. Well, the order of operation tells me that division comes first. So 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. Now I have 4 plus 3 to get my answer of 7. It's very important that you follow the correct order of operations and always remember to do parentheses from the inside out.